Hello everyone and welcome to another Screaming Frog Quickfire Guide, this time on segments. This is the feature you didn't know you needed, so why is it helpful? Segments can help to better identify and monitor issues and opportunities from different templates, page types or areas of priority. Now the first thing is only available if you're using database storage mode, which you can switch to via file, settings and storage mode. Now this comes with lots of other benefits as well, such as being able to crawl more URLs and auto saving of crawls. So if you haven't already moved over to database storage mode, I'd recommend it anyway. Now to set up a segment, you can just go to configuration segments or alternatively you can click on the right hand segments tab and click the cog up there. It takes you to the same configuration. You click add to set up a segment and then you can name it and then set up a condition. In this example of set up a blog segment with the URL structure of blog and I'm now setting up another one around SEO spider with a URL structure of SEO spider as well and I can just click OK and start the crawl we can see in the right hand window here that it's already updated with the segments and the number of URLs that are going in there and on the left hand side in the internal tab there's now a segments column with labels in there matching the segments and the colors for those segments that I've just set up now you can pause the crawl at any time and set up new segments and you can set up segments around any data collected in the crawl and that includes APIs so Google Search Console or Google Analytics um, but not all websites are completely intuitive based upon URL structure even our own so if I I've actually set up a custom extraction to also extract the body class ID that you can see here and this will tell me the template name of each page. Now this is actually much easier to set up segments around for our website, which is a WordPress website. So I can go in here and set up another segment and the custom extraction is number extractor number one, it's the body class ID and the name is page template, it's a featured guide so I can click OK. It will ask if I want to resegment. I do. So it will update any URLs that have already been crawled, as you can see there. I can then resume and we'll start to see URLs appearing in this bucket as well. Now, the cool thing is, is that segments are saved with your configuration. So you only ever need to set this up once. You can just go to configuration, profiles and save. And with that in mind, I'm going to open up one that I've done earlier. So I'm just importing a configuration that has all these segments already set up. I can click start and we can see over on this left hand side here all the URLs now are nicely segmented. Now if we look at the issues tab this also has a segments column and this is pretty handy because it's colored based around the segments as well. So at a quick glance you can see which segments have certain issues for example tutorials are canonicalized or the ancillary pages, perhaps those are areas of the website that don't really care about. Do I care about any ancillary pages being no index? I might care about author pages more, so I can click into those and see the URLs as well, and this will update. And there's also a drop down that appears, so you can click on the all segments drop down and then dig into a specific area. So if I just want to have a look at authors, for example, this will update and just show issues relevant to the author segment. And then obviously I can dig into those and scroll through all of those issues as well. The segments tab is also very useful because it aggregates data around the different segments. So you can see the number of URLs in each of the segments, indexability, so whether they're indexable or non-indexable, how many issues they have, warnings and opportunities, whether they're high, medium or low as well and there's a little graph at the bottom which helps you spot these you can see we have some issues in ancillary and resources perhaps areas of the website that we don't really care about as much you can also use uh, this uh, filter here to scroll down and have a look at issues and this shows you the types of issues at different pages different page types as well so I can see the different segments that are that have security issues or page type issues or H2s and so on. You can also then have a look at the indexability status of various segments or the response codes in those or crawl depth. So if there's a particular area of the website, for example, service pages, 
probably want these to be uh, fairly low in call depth. There might be some areas of the website where we can improve that by using this. Now, Segments is also pretty well integrated into various other features in the SEA Spot as well. You can select to color crawl, crawl, crawl visualizations by segment as well. So if I go to the force directed call diagram, I can select to use segment node colors as well. You can also go to sitemaps and choose to create sitemaps by segment. So this will set up a sitemap index file that will reference each sitemap and their segments. So you can see indexing in Google Search Console based upon that segment. And if you're using the export for Looker Studio and scheduling for automated crawl reports, then a separate sheet will be created for each segment. And this means you can monitor issues by segment in Looker Studio as well. So we hope you like the feature. If you have any questions, just let us know. Thanks.